about the top three campaigns that have uh, you know really worked for you and have been dream scripts? Okay, so I don't know if uh, I have had dream scripts, but I love the opportunity to make uh, like a dream film. Mm-hmm. Um, the first most uh, I think uh, the film which I really you know when I look back I really enjoyed making and I think it did very well as well was the Nescafe uh, stand up. Uh, yeah. Uh, standing stand up. Mm-hmm. I think uh, initially when the script came to me, it had a celebrity in it. So mm-hmm. the first, uh, and the client was great. Uh, Pratik from uh, Mekan at that time, Bharadwaj, uh, uh, it was a great team. So we ideated a lot and we changed the script to what the film eventually became. I think it had a right blend of uh, storytelling, uh, humor, emotion, and I think um, the, uh, the film did really well for the brand as well. So I think that's probably my, if I have to look back, uh, one of my most favorite films. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another film which uh, was great fun to win was uh, The Imperial Blue Men. Men, Men. Men. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, it was a film where this husband comes looking for a ring because mm-hmm. it's missed on the anniversary and, uh, and the salesman kind of recommends a bigger diamond because, you know, but it's all looks and it's all discussing diamonds, but the mm-hmm. uh, the subliminal story was, uh, you know, not saying but you could get it. So I think uh, on a brand like Imperial Blue, uh, uh, such great storytelling. And I think we uh, came up with that Ghazal, uh, Ajay Gilad wrote it and uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Amar uh, composed the, uh, the melody. And uh, the, the Ghazal's been a hit because they're still using the track, I don't know, 12 years later. Okay. So that's a film which I really enjoyed making as well. Um, and there's another film which I don't know if... Uh, people remember it. It's a much smaller film, but uh, one close to my heart because uh, this is for Vodafone. Uh, it was uh, when Vodafone used to get SMSs with uh, you know life messages and stuff like that. So it was a campaign. I think Rajiv Rao at that time, we we had written the campaign. It was a single short film where this wife comes in. She comes in very angry and she comes and bangs her teacup on front of him while his husband is reading a paper, mm-hmm. and then she keeps throwing. A cushion at him in anger, mm-hmm. and then he, he keeps giving it back, mm-hmm. and then she keeps throwing it till she gets tired, and then she sits down, and and then this you know you suggest that they can have a conversation. So basically, a calm mind can face the you know uh, whatever storm. So, mm-hmm. uh, but that film was great because uh, no dialogue, uh, single take, and uh, super performances, and we sh- I, I think we had, we had shot a film with a lot of cuts, and mm-hmm. I think Rajiv came. Said, should we just try single take? Okay. And I think we just did it in the last 10 minutes, and then that was the film. And um, uh, it's one of my closest. Like, uh, so it was, I won't say it was one of those big films which people would look back after years, but it's a film which is close to my heart. But then there are so many films, uh, it's tough to pick your favorite, but yeah, I mean, top of the mind, these are three films which I really like. Okay. Uh, 